Hey yo, check up. Yo, check up. Hey yo, check up. 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 What up? <laughs> Live with the Yo Checker Show, I'm Checker C, and we are in the building. That's right, it's the legendary building, Hot 97. And they have their new reality show called This Is Hot 97. Stop or Sight. It's not a reality show. It's a unscripted comedy series based on the, the shenanigans in the hallways of Hot 97. Not reality. Even though on the first episode, it did say reality three times, which we're trying to avoid. So talk to me about the unscripted then real quick because, I mean, clearly people are like, all right, is this scripted or not? Like, is it scripted? What did we say, checker? Don't get checker, checker. Don't checker, checker. Don't get checker, checker. Checker, checker, checker. Do you ever do that when you're doing interviews? Do you, yo, this is checker. I'm interviewing you. You're not interviewing me. Yo, checker, checker, checker. Um, no, it's just us having a good time. Like he said, shenanigans. Um, the reason we said reality in the first episode three times, and shout to the people who counted. Sife, did you count? No, somebody hit you. Somebody hit you with that, right? Um, the reason we did that was to set the tone that we were actually making fun of reality shows and reality shenanigans in our world um, because we, you know, don't necessarily believe that most of those reality shows are real anyway. Right. Plus, we know most of the people on them. But the, you know what I found interesting is the audience doesn't want it spoiled that that stuff isn't reality. They want to believe it's real. And what's even funnier is the fact that reality shows have gotten so popular that now you do anything and they want it to be a reality show, especially like in our world and hip hop and shit like that. So we decided to do something that was basically a take on the shit we do in the hallways, which is make fun of each other, um, as well as give each other a hard time and the shit we do on the radio. So, Okay. Well, we're going to roll more into that and I'm going to get some more details about that. But I want to talk to Laura Styles first because I know you're like the newest addition. I know you hate the word new, but clearly because the reality show, you were like, no, I'm not new. It's not that a was... reality show. Oh, my God. Come on, check up. I'm sorry, but it's so like. What are you going to say, real? Yeah. <laughs> All right. On the unscripted comedy. Yeah. You were like, I'm not new. So I wanted to talk to you about that. I know you moved from Cali, and a lot of people don't realize that, like, in radio, yeah, you do have to move to different states to pursue your career. Um, so talk to us a little bit about that, like, your movement here and how your transition was, because I want people to know you guys a little bit better, because I feel like we got an introduction to you, but maybe not as deep. When you think of hip-hop, you think of High 97. Laura, what's up, baby? Oh, what's up, baby? Oh, Big stars come here all the time. Struggles of a Mexican. Shut up. I'm not Mexican. Though I love Mexicans and I love Mexican food. Um, yeah, so I am originally from Los Angeles, but I, I was actually really fortunate to start my radio career here in New York. So I worked for a couple radio stations and I've been working for Hot 97 for like three years now. And um, wow, I can't believe it's been three years. But on the morning show, I've been on for like seven months. But I already knew the guys. Um, we have, like, I've worked with Saif outside of um, Hot 97 and I have my own personal relationship with like Rosenberg and I know Ebro, so me coming into the morning show was just, it felt like natural, it felt right. But I'm not new. I mean, they keep saying that I'm but new. But you're a heavy hitter too. Yeah, but me being a heavy hitter had nothing to do with the morning show. I definitely, like, DJ NF has helped me a lot and Camillo and, you know, I've worked with him for years, like seven years prior to coming into the radio station. But, I mean, I keep saying that, that I'm not new is because I've been at Hot 97 for three years. I mean, I've been on the morning show for seven months, but I'm not new. I know what I'm doing. Look at her, she's like, I'm not. Cause it's annoying, but I'm not. But then, but then I have someone like Angie check me, be like, I've been here for over 20 years. You've only got three under your belt, so you're new. So then I'm be like, mm. all right. But you know what? People don't realize, but three years in radio is like forever. You know? Because <laughs> well, not compared to 20 years. So you have a jewelry line. Tell us about the jewelry line. They didn't release a, a limited edition earring piece with Seville Michelle that was carried um, ex exclusively at Patricia Fields and online last year. But you know what? It did really well. So when, when I put it out there, I just was like, you know what? Let me try this. Let me put out something that I love and see if you know people would be about it. And it sold out and it did really well. So I think I'm going to come back and, and drop one for the summer again. So I have a couple things I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drop. What kind? Well, all of them are like uh, are really round the way girl earrings. They usually like I, I'm a big like hoop girl, so I I like to take like um just the same type of vibe that that my girls rock. You know those type of earrings. I love door knockers. I love I just like big chunky earrings. So if you're into that, then you probably dig some of my stuff. All right. So um, 
also you do the flashing lights and i heard you this morning talking about um another vh1 uh reality show which is the games reality show how do you feel now that you have to talk about like other shows are you feeling like a certain way or is it like whatever yo this is my job yeah i, I don't feel any different i mean it's the news i report the news stuff that's going on so I, it doesn't change anything it's the same thing nothing changes we, we're all the same yeah. All right, Saif, we're going to move to you because you um, have super, like, you have mad experience. People don't even realize you've been doing your thing forever. A lot of people say Rosenberg and I have, like, this great chemistry together on the radio. Saif, it sounds like Rosenberg. The Seifenberg Show. I don't like that name. You never join names together unless it's, like, a couple or people having sex. And I, we've never had sex. Have you also were VP for Rock Nation, right? Rock. Rock, right. Okay, so... Um, why did you decide to leave there to go to MTV? I mean, is TV like your thing? Are you really trying to pursue that? No, I, uh, I love, I love anything hip hop. I love being an a &R, I love studio work. I love DJing. Now I do comedy, but, um, I just like doing everything. And when I was at Rockefeller, uh, I had to audition for MTV and I got it. So Jay was like, you could be an A&R any time in your life. You're not going to be able to be on TV as a host and a VJ. So go do that. Live live that dream because being an executive at a record company or putting out music, you can always do that. That's There's no age limit on that. Jay was like, yo, you always down with us no matter what, but go do that now while you have the shot because if you really something you're interested in, now's the time. So I, that, I was like, I took his blessing and went for it. So you're trying to do the acting thing? Yeah, I always, I always wanted to do that. I, I always wanted to do movies. I'm in a movie, 25th Hour, Spike Lee movie. That was like the first thing I ever did. Are you an extra? I'm a DJ. It was a really stretch of a role for me. I had to research. Yeah, I love doing like comedy now. It's like definitely taking me into this world. That's why we never really wanted to do a reality show at Hot 97 because we're all too close of a family to have like fake drama between us. Even though we do have like family drama, but it's not like reality show drama. And um, when they brought us this show, when they said it was a, a comedy, I was all for it. And I was like, I do uh, improv and stuff. So I was like always giving little tidbits of advice. Like, no, just just roll with it. We'll figure it out later. Just It's going to all happen at the right time. So it's good. You think your comedy stuff has really in, like gave you that inspiration to want to do more TV? Or was it the MTV thing? What happened with MTV anyway? Um, MTV just literally just, when they stopped showing videos, they just stopped needing VJs. So we just got, you know, they just were like, we don't have anything for you to introduce anymore. We have, um, you know, like scripted shows and reality shows. And then, um, <laughs> and then, no, I've always, like, I just like entertaining. I like pe making people laugh and making people dance. If it's acting, I mean, I don't ever consider myself an actor. But I would like to be in TV and movies. And Do you take acting lessons? Uh, yeah, but improv is more of my thing. I took improv classes. Acting, traditional acting doesn't really work for me. I like like improv. Like It's all fun. And this show is, I'm hoping it catapults my career. And, you know, I don't have to see Ebro or Rosenberg's face anymore. Laura, I'm going to miss. Laura, I'll miss. But Ebro, I'm just... So would you actually leave? radio to be on TV to say, yeah? Uh, no. I don't want to leave radio ever, but you know, maybe a little sabbatical. You know what I'm saying? A little weekend shift or something, you know, lunchtime shift. <laughs> no, nah, but I, I don't know. If I could find a way to do it all, I would do it. Like, other people have done it. You know what I'm saying? So, there's definitely a way. We all have other aspirations, but we all love it here, too. And we, this is number one, though. This is primary job, number one. That's why the show is about Hot 97. Like, this is where, like, you're asking, like, is it weird to talk about news? Like, no, that's what we do. The show, the VH1 show was, like, some extra fun stuff to do. And it made our days super long, but this is the job. You know, right there, Hot 97. This is Hot 97. Okay, Ebro. Yay. What's up? Hi. So you've been, um programming hot 97 for a long time mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. and now you are stepping down yeah. or you have already Not stepped down it. okay well I've it's a big difference i've relinquished that title tell me why um well it, i have a daughter on the way um i also 
rarely get you rarely like Sife put it earlier. You I could always go back and program. I've done it several times for a long time, multiple radio stations. Um, and you know, with the support of the parent company Emmis and the support of the morning show, um, we got a good morning show right now. So um, I can't really do analytics and ratings and uh, sit in sales meetings and do all that corporate stuff and continue to grow this and take all the opportunities that doing this TV show is going to present. So, um, as well as take care of a new member to my family. So, it was a lot of it was about managing time. And that was that. Wake up, everybody. I think this is a great look inside the family here at Hot 97. One. Y'all, get back to work. Um, I think for a company to give you that choice means that they care about you and want, you know, your best interest or have your best interest in mind. Then they gave me, you know, uh, a great opportunity and what I call a great runway. And, you know, I've been on the radio since 1990. That's where I started. So um, in multiple cities. So um, what's your favorite city? Oh, New York. New York City is absolutely my favorite. Um, no, I was in Northern California since till 99. So, yeah, I guess I have been in New York longer. Yeah, I have been here longer. Yo, that's some crazy shit. That's some crazy shit. Um, so, yeah, no, there's not, there's no other place on the planet like New York. Cultural diversity, the music, the restaurants, the entertainment, um, the platforms. Like, there's no, you can't really compare the other stuff. So, um, but, yeah, no, it's um, it's a great opportunity, and I could always go back and prove it. So are we going to see more fighting, more controversy? Because it seems real lovey-dovey. Like, we're family, we get along. And clearly, I've been working in radio for 10 years, too, and I know the deal. Like, it is not like that. There's a lot of hate on the low, crazy things going on. So are we going to see that? More fighting. There isn't any fighting. No, you know what I mean? That There's not, me and Angie don't go at it, and me and Info don't punch each other in the face. I saw Angie rolling her eyes at me and giving me attitude for an entire season, then yeah, there's that. Is that fighting? Is she, or yeah. Yeah. It's like a lot of subliminal jabs. Our whole show is like a Jay-Z verse. <laughs> no, but everything is not peaches and cream here. We have our issues and you'll see them. But it's just not like, we, I mean, we work with each other and we respect each other. So it's not, there's not gonna be any crazy ratchetness going on. Like we, competitive. Yeah. Definitely competition. We're, we're actually friends. I know it's weird for some people in other radio stations, and I've worked at other radio stations where it's been like that, but no, that's why it's so amazing here at Hot 97, because we actually get along and, you know, we take care of each other. a lot of people who've been here over the years that don't really fit our, the friend vibe, and it's not like we kick them out, but they don't really ever last. Like, if we all are cool, and Ebro came, like, I've been here for way longer than Ebro, but when Ebro came into the mix, he he folded right, he's one of us. And we're all like cool, like not saying we go to each other's house every day, but everyone here pretty much hangs out in one way or another, like outside of work. We go to each other's parties. So um, we spoke about competition real quick, and that is a big thing in radio, clearly, right? So is there anything that you see your competitors doing that you kind of like want to do or you think is like, yo, that's dope, like, or it's adding fuel to your fire. You're like, yo, we got to get on that because such and such. Anything? I mean, I'm just saying, like, clearly you and Power 105 are direct competition, and they came up with a show on Revolt TV, right? The same day as yours, John. I mean, we, we've we had success doing us. Um, we have a, a hip-hop radio station. It's multicultural. It's black, it's Spanish, it's white people that work here. Um, you know, they have a, a R&B station that plays... Only some hip hop is their slogan, um, but that's good for them. Um, I think they target predominantly black women. We kind of target everyone. Um, so I think there's differences. I don't know, uh, you know, I prefer what we have where we have, you know, we promote more than just the morning show. You know what I mean? They, I think their whole thing revolves around their morning show. Um, so it's different. I don't, I don't know if they have anything that I want and the things that they have that we had, we let go. So it wasn't really like, they do what they do. And, uh, you know, fortunately for us, I think we have such a great vibe here is because we're not owned by some big Walmart company that owns, like, a bunch of radio stations and kind of cuts everything down to just cookie cutter. Like, we have a little bit of different thing, which I think is part of our appeal. But I do love the fact that people want to put radio people on television. Like, I, whether it's, you know, whether it's uh, just repurposing what you do in the morning to do 
or even coming up with the concept that we came up with. Like, I think that's great for the medium, so I salute them for that. I think that's dope, you know what I mean? Okay, and um, is there gonna be a season two yet? Do we know that? I mean, the ratings are dope, right? Yeah, the ratings came back real dope. We had, um, I guess we pulled a one. I think I don't know what that means, but I guess a one is a big, it's a big deal for a premiere show, mm -hmm. which I'm told did better than the premieres of like the other branded shows like Love and Hip Hop New York or I don't know if it Atlanta or whatever, but I think it did good, right, PR person? Yeah, she wants really to good. Do we? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> we did good. So did I, don't good, think they, good. I don't think they decide if they're going to do another season until you get like three or four episodes in mm -hmm. and they see right. if you maintain the interest. You, you know what I mean? Is Rosenberg really like sweating other chicks like that in front of his wife or what? Watch. You got to watch the name. Uh, Find out. <laughs> All right. So um, last thing, because I know you guys are really community oriented. Like, I mean, the station's been around for years. You guys are in the community. It's a legendary station. Dopeness. Um, uh, and the Puerto Rican Day Parade is big for you guys. Is that going to be on the show, Puerto Rican Day Parade? Summer no, Jam? That would, Summer Jam might be. Um, we're still doing some pickups. Um, but um, the Puerto Rican Day Parade, where it falls, I think the show will be over by then. So maybe they'll end up doing something for if we get a, if we get uh, what's that called picked up again season two has to have the puerto rican day parade Yo, for real I hope so. I mean, all right so we do a quick question round of series it's 60 minutes we're gonna hit the clock marisa are you ready with the clock 60 minutes, 60 is, not minutes is not quick 60 seconds sorry it's our length 60 seconds on the clock quick question should i move let me let's switch me. All right, first question. Which celebrity would you have lunch with if you can pick just for an hour? Um, lunch with for an hour, Obama. Michael B. Jordan. Frank Sinatra. Who do you um, do business with if you could? What celebrity? What kind of business? Any business you want to do. Any business I want to do, I would do it with... Hove. Hove. Gwen Stefani. Hove. I'm not a businessman. I'm a businessman. <laughs> Worst celebrity interview. Um, this one. Sorry. Uh, uh, worst celebrity interview. Uh, I don't know. I don't judge people like that. Who's quiet? Who's Wale quiet? Oh, yeah, Wale uh, during our podcast where he just goes, yes, yes, yes. All right. Um, favorite pizza spot in New York? Ooh, um. Fuck, there's too many. There's too many. Patsy's. The one West 4th right by the Comedy Cellar. Uh, I forgot the name of it. But it's bleaker. It's like I'm bleaker. I just was at Patsy's in Harlem too, man. Damn. But there was the spot in Brooklyn that we like. Oh, it's done. Damn. Yes. Time up. All right, listen. High nine seven morning show. That's us. Ebro, Sife, Laura. We yo. Yo, checka. It's yo check. Check it out. Check checka. Check 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 yo, checka. We hanging out with our girl Checka C. Watch our show Monday nights 10:30 on VH1. This is Hot 97.